Hello everyone, I'm starting a new series of short videos of uh, 5 to 10 minutes and uh, no more. And the first video of this series is going to be a review of the books available out there for petroleum and energy geomechanics. Here you see the list and the first one I'm going to discuss is the work and the book by Fire et al. of petroleum related rock mechanics. Here you see that I have also assigned several ratings and this is one of the most complete books that you will find in this table. If we go to that book, uh, you will see that the table of contents it has almost everything you need, discussing the fundamentals of elasticity, stress, strain, failure mechanic, constitutive models, some geology and applications too, like for example, stresses around boreholes, elastic web propagation, stresses uh, around fractures, uh, rock models, and calculation of in situ stresses, uh, and some other applications that are very, very relevant uh, to petroleum and energy geomechanics. One drawback about this book is that it's probably too long, at least too long for one semester. And the reader needs uh, some advanced knowledge in order to really uh, take advantage of, of this book. So it is very complete. It has almost everything that you need, but it's just a little bit long, but I definitely recommend it. It's a very high quality uh, book. The second book in my list is uh, what is by now almost a classic, the book Reservoir Geomechanics by Zobak. And here also you have plenty of application is uh, very relevant, very close to the state of the art. And uh, you need some knowledge to get started, but uh, not that much as in the first one. Uh, probably one of the drawbacks of the book by Sobak Reservoir Geomechanics is that it doesn't have sometimes the derivation of the equations in the book. So you may ask, you know, where do we, where does this equation come from? And it may not be there. And so if you want to really get to know in depth the geomechanics and get to know where all these equations come from, uh, probably you will need another reference. But again, you know, this is a classic, it's an excellent book, very close to the state of the art. And I definitely uh, recommend it if you get into reservoir geomechanics. I have been using this book for my class of reservoir geomechanics for over 40 years, and uh, it's, uh, it's an excellent uh, resource. The third book in my list uh, is one that covers a, a topic which is not very much discussed in the book by Sobak and also by Fire, which is hydraulic fracturing. And this is a book of Balco and Economides of hydraulic fracture mechanics. Uh, of course, it's very related to petroleum and energy engineering uh, because one of the current topics uh, about uh, in this matter is uh, hydraulic fracturing. And here you will see specifically the theory and fundamentals about fluid driven fractures. And it goes in detail about the rheology of the fluids and about the models that you need in order to propagate uh, one single fracture. And probably that's one of the drawbacks of these books is that it's not talking about multi-stage fracturing, but in order to advance into multi-stage frac fracturing, you really need to get to know the fundamentals about just one fracture. And this book uh, covers that uh, very well. Uh, you see here in my link, I'm going to uh, put all these links in the video. Uh, I found the book. Uh, and here you see the table of contents. It's uh, specifically about uh, hydraulic fracturing and something that this book does very well is also to cover some uh, field aspects that the other books uh, may not cover. If you really want to go into the state of the art of hydraulic fracturing and uh, unconventionals, I recommend strongly the new book by uh, Sobakan Colley of Unconventional Reservoir Mechanics, uh, Geomechanics. And this is a book which is really at the state of the art of uh, reservoir geomechanics, particularly for unconventional 
unconventional formations where Professor Sovak summarizes the last 10 years of research uh, that he has done uh, related to unconventionals, induced seismicity, and uh, some other topics, uh, which is, a, it's a great book, uh, fantastic book, but it also requires quite a bit of knowledge from the reader in order to get started. This is not a book that you want to get started from the very beginning. Probably you want to read other books in order to get to know the fundamentals and take advantage of such book. And in order to cover those fundamentals, I have added uh, three other books, and these are the books by uh, Malber, by Jacker, and by Cousy, that cover different aspects of uh, mechanics and geomechanics that uh, are very relevant in order to understand more advanced topics in uh, petroleum and energy uh, geomechanics. The book by Mulber is a classic and it covers uh, basically continuum mechanics. Uh, here you see uh, the link to it and the table of contents. If, for example, you are someone that wants to code from scratch a hydraulic fracture simulator or a geomechanics simulator, uh, well, you really need to master first all the math and the mechanics behind these kind of problems. And for that, the book of Malware is, is a classic which is applied to all areas of engineering, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, also uh, petroleum engineering. The second book of this uh, list of, of classics and uh, fundamental books is the book by uh, Jagger Cook and Zimmerman of Fundamentals of Rock Mechanics. Again, this book is not going to cover specifically some aspects of petroleum engineering or the state of the art, but it's going, it's going to cover in detail the fundamentals. For example, here you will see a lot more in detail constitutive models for rocks or the types of uh, compressibilities that a rock might have, mineral compressibility, pore compressibility, and, and things like that. And, and this is again a great book, it's a great reference, and I strongly recommend that you have this book in your library. And for those of you that are interested in pore elasticity, something which is, uh, it has found a lot of application in, in geomechanics recently, I strongly recommend the book by Cousy uh, in mechanics and physics of porous solids. Uh, here you will see a very rigorous derivation of pore elasticity uh, from thermodynamical concepts. The equations are nicely written. So again, if you're someone that wants to code, for example, a, a software about uh, geomechanics, accounting for pore elasticity, uh, this is a book that you may want to, to revisit, for example. My, my dear colleague, Mary Wheeler, it's, uh, she constantly refers to this book for uh, her simulations in geomechanics. And last, I'd like to also talk a little bit about uh, the set of notes, uh, the book I, I have been working on, which is really an introduction to energy geomechanics. What I have done is I have tried to uh, make available all the concepts of geomechanics for someone particularly in a petroleum engineering program that needs to have access quickly to concepts of geomechanics, going from the very beginning, stress and strain, but also going into applications. For example, into calculating in situ stress and pore pressure and uh, using uh, understanding the deformation of rocks failure and applying that to wellbore stability, to fault reactivation, and also to hydraulic fracturing and problems of reservoir depletion. So this is really an introduction and I have based uh, most of my book in these other books I'm referring to uh, in order to put this together. And uh, it serves uh, to the reader to really get started with other more advanced uh, books. All right, so this is the end of this video and I will continue posting some of these uh, short videos uh, very soon.